Hi, thanks for joining me and watching this video. My intention with this short video is to give you a, a little reset for your mind and your emotional state. I recently heard my one of my meditation teachers, Deepak Chopra, say that emotions are more contagious than a virus. Emotions are more contagious than a virus. And what we mean by that is if we are marinating in fear and angst and despair and doubt, this can have a very negative effect on our well-being, on our health, on our immune system. And if we're constantly sharing these emotions through conversation or what we post on social media, we're actually spreading a very toxic virus. So I want to be clear that I'm not saying that you have to be positive all the time. It's really okay to feel the emotions of fear and angst and anxiety. Um, if we think about what's going on right now, it's quite natural to have those feelings, those emotions. And I'm not saying don't watch the news, but um, what I, I want to convey is that maybe we don't watch the news all day long. It's good to be informed, but I've talked to several friends that are just so wound up because they have the news on continually and it certainly feeds those negative emotions that they're already feeling. So what I am saying is that if we stay swimming in these lower vibrational emotions, it can truly erode our immune system and have a negative effect on our health. And right now, one of the only things we can control is improving and enhancing our health, making ourselves more resilient. So what I like to use is a simple way to reset are the three A's and they are awareness, acceptance, and appreciation. So briefly, awareness just means that, like being aware of when you're stuck in negative emotions, being aware that you're watching the news all day long perhaps and how it's affecting you and, and noticing when you're stuck for sure. Acceptance is really accepting that there is a challenge uh, the reality is, there. This is these are challenging times, and um, we may not have control over much right now. And so, accepting these are the feelings I'm having. This is what's happening. I'm very aware of it, and I'm accepting. And then the third part is appreciation, and that is just shifting our mind to a place of gratitude, which seems so simple, but there's lots and lots of research that shows that the effects of gratitude are very positive on our health. It's not just, um, it doesn't just make us feel better, it is actually better for our health to go to that place of gratitude. There's, I mentioned there's lots of research on the effects of gratitude and just a few things that when I read them, I was like, oh yes, this makes sense and this is why I want to do more of this. It improves our immune system, it lowers our blood pressure, it helps us sleep better. It also can enhance our mood so we feel less depressed. And it even reduces the effects of aging on our brain. So how about we take a few minutes and we press the reboot button on our mind. And even during this meditation, we're gonna thank the coronavirus. So I'll invite you at this moment now to close your eyes if you're comfortable. And if you're not comfortable closing your eyes, you can just look downward with a soft gaze and that way your attention can go more internally. And you can call this a meditation or if you just want to call it a reset. I'm just closing my eyes to do a reset if that feels more comfortable for you, whatever works. So going to that place of either eyes closed or looking downward. And it's super simple. Just Welcome some stillness into your body. Your mind may not be still, that's fine. Just welcome stillness into your body. Feel your seat connected to the surface beneath you. And if your feet are on the floor, feel your feet. And with your eyes closed or soft, welcome the unknown. <clears throat> Begin to notice that you're breathing and receive the breath. Feel it arrive. 
and feel it release. And wait and feel the next breath arrive and feel it release. And in this stillness, just sense your own presence, your own aliveness. What a gift it is to be alive. And you might feel that aliveness in your breath. And now just guiding our awareness into the three A's. Honing our awareness now. Simply checking in, what is my current emotional state? How am I feeling right now? What am I feeling right now? And feel it fully. If you're feeling fear, be with fear. If you're feeling contentment, be with contentment. And that being with it is part of acceptance. Not discounting it, not trying to push it away, but welcoming it saying hello to it. Breathing with your awareness fully on the breath for a few moments. Perhaps even slowing down your exhalation And now appreciating, appreciating your mind's ability to think, appreciating your heart's ability to feel. Appreciating your body's ability to sustain you, to experience aliveness. And appreciating your breath's ability to calm you. And then moving a bit deeper into gratitude now. Just bring to mind a few things that you are deeply grateful for right now. the simple practice of dropping into gratitude. So many benefits for health and well-being. And now staying in that place of gratitude, I invite you to open your mind and your heart to these words. I found this recently and there is no author, but I wanted to share it, or the author is unknown, I should say. It's entitled, Thank You, Coronavirus. Just absorb this into the fabric of your mind and heart. Thank you, coronavirus. Thank you for shaking us and showing us we are dependent on something much bigger than we think. Thank you for making us appreciate the luxury we lived in, abundance of products, freedom, health, and realizing we were taking them for granted. 
Thank you for stopping us to make us see how lost we were in the busyness, not having time for the most basic things. Thank you for allowing us to put aside all our problems we thought were so important and showing us what actually is important. Thank you for stopping the transport. The earth was begging us to look at the pollution for a very long time, but we didn't listen. Thank you for all the fear. It has been a global disease for years, but not many of us have wanted to face it. But now we have to face it and learn how to embrace it with love and with the support of community. Thank you, coronavirus for this reevaluation of our lives. Thank you as we finally understand what it means that we're all connected. Thank you for the unity between all of us. Thank you for helping us to undermine everything and give us a chance to build a world from the very beginning. This virus is part of us. It's between us, in us. It connected us all, either physically or energetically. Gratitude supports the immune system, but also lets us see things from many perspectives. And it's up to us which perspective we will choose, but best to be aware of all of them. Be grateful, stay aware. Things will never be the same again. The world is changing now. If your eyes are still closed, just sit with that for just a bit longer. Remembering the three A's that can help us when we find ourselves stuck, awareness, acceptance, appreciation. You can let the eyes slowly float open when you're ready. And I want to thank you for joining me. Namaste.